she's over this way. Come. We, my mom's grabbing some herbs and some um, fresh seedlings because she started her community garden. And we brought a friend with us today who is so excited for this garden adventure. The watermelon, cucumber, summer squash, seedlings. Little tomato bush. Look at the tomatoes, bud. We had to stop by Home Depot to grab a couple more things we didn't see at the nursery. And this one is absolutely giving us a run for our money. Come on now, let's go pay. Come. All right, we have made it back to the garden to drop off the plants. This patch here always has strawberries that people can pick from. I see a couple. Wow, Noah, look. Look it, it's a strawberry. You want one? Look at Lubby doing planting, buddy. She's making a hole so she can put the Ishiban in the ground. Oh, wow. It is such a beautiful night. It's literally 6.30 and Noah and I are in here just like helping my mom de-weed her plot and get in some fresh veggie seedlings and some healthy soil. It's also a good workout. I'm thinking that this will be my workout today. Look who just made it. Is this your strawberry scrap? Thank you. Good job. Can we get this one? Okay. Oh. Starting the morning, this morning, shooting a um, reel for Gap that Rain and Noah are putting together for Father's Day. They sent them like a whole um, capsule that I pulled out that I handpicked and styled. So now look at them. They're so cute. They both have on like these patchwork Gap. Um, tops Noah's is short sleeve mine is long sleeve and then they have shorts and converse on and they look absolutely adorable so you will see the content in a couple days because it's due literally today um, but I'm gonna shoot them quickly and then get this day started but look at them from the back I absolutely just how cute I did Noah's hair yesterday and he literally won't let me live I had to put edge control on like okay we're gonna get started <laughs> What's up, y'all? Honestly, I am feeling a hundred percent. So I just had an amazing meeting with um, a wonderful woman who I am working with to put together my brand identity for Beautiful Bostonian. And she is helping me put together my new website. And when I tell you guys, she's so inspiring. She has me ready for my day after that meeting. We, we kikied, we laughed, we shared. She made my day. I hope she watches this video. Um, I hope she watches my vlogs in general, but like, I hope she watches this video and hears me talk about her because the way she has absolutely, not that my spirits were low, but she has lifted and, you know, has my cup overflowing. I am so excited to create today. I am so excited to put together this project and I'm so excited to, I don't even know what it's going to look like yet, but present it to the world and 
you know, have a home for my creations and for everything that I do. Oh, she's amazing. I, I scream. But I am about to go get my nails done. Um, I've been hiding them. Not hiding, hiding, like, but just doing like quick movement. Look at my nails, y'all. They are, you know, grown out. I have a nail appointment at 11.15. It's 11.07. I'm absolutely dragging it right now, but it is like three minutes up the road. So I am going to go and do that. I may also drop off my newly package so I can um, select a few newly items for my trip that's coming up. But I just wanted to hop on here, do a little key um, to start the vlog for the day. Um, I do need a haircut so bad. Do you see her? Absolutely not thriving today. But I will go get my nails done. That'll be the first thing um, in getting me back together. But yeah, it's a happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. Um, I also had a therapy appointment this morning. And everything just seems to be kind of together. Also, as y'all know, Thursdays are like my day to myself. Noah is being watched. He's at my grandma's for the day. So I have free hands, y'all. I just have so many things that I could do. And that freedom feels really dope. I don't know if y'all know what I'm feeling, but today's going to be great. Just wanted to come say hello. Thanks for being here. Okay, it's very much giving that I'm back. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, um, so I just went and got a haircut um, at a new place. It's called Gus's, and it's near my house, um, or nearby, kind of close, closer than uh, my other hairstylist. Obviously, it's a men's barber shop, so they didn't like do anything to my actual like tresses. But the cut itself, they I walked in and they were like, "This is for men. This is a men's barber shop," and I was like, "I know." I know. I looked at your reviews. They are reviewed really highly online. It's apparently a chain or something. And um, I was a little nervous walking in there, but he was like, okay, what do you want? And I was like, I need you to cut this bowl cut evenly all the way across, front to back, fade the back, and bald my sides. And he was like, and I showed him the sides and he was like, okay, I got that. I got that. So he went, he was doing his thing. I was hyping him up as he was going. And y'all, it's giving, this is gonna be my new spot. It's giving precision. It's giving, I can wear my glasses and my hair's not too long. It's very much giving what it should be giving. So they ate. Another little tidbit, I got my nails done this morning. How come y'all didn't tell me that dip, dip was like this? It's giving, these are my real nails. <laughs> it's giving, why wasn't I doing this before? Y'all actually played me, okay? And let me get acrylic when look at my little it's giving these are my it's giving i actually grew these nails out of my out of my own body it's very much giving back um we're having a wonderful day and now i feel like i can go back and do a little bit of work you know what i'm saying do a little bit of work clean my house um i'm thinking that i'm gonna go so i have to drop off my newly package that's over here which that's easy i just have to drop that off at a cvs um, because they take packages, which is awesome. So I'm gonna make my way to CVS and then I'm gonna pop by my favorite little spot. It's called Bon Mi Oi, so good. Um, and I get like this rice bowl and they have like pickled veggies and it has, what I choose is like basil prawn shrimp and that shit is bomb. That shit is bomb diggity. So I'm gonna go get that. Then I'm gonna go back and do some work, reset, do my whole thing and just continue with my day but wow wow i made some good decisions this morning okay i made some good decisions productive decisions so i'm feeling good thursday's eating it up and i'll be back with some more updates soon but uh, uh, let me get off this camera <laughs> all right bye oh you guys i've been kind of pretending like i didn't have um, what I had set up this week all week. I've just been trying to like busy myself with like, you know, things that I want to do, my task list, my goals. Like I've, I've just been trying to fill my brain with those things. But unfortunately I had two deaths in my family in the last, you know, 10 days. <laughs> um, and today was the first funeral. Um, and I have another one tomorrow, like back to back. Friday, Saturday, and I just left the first one and I'm just feeling so drained. Like, 
if anybody like knows me closely, you know that I have experienced a lot of loss in my family over the last like five to 10 years, like back to back to back. Um, I was talking to my therapist literally yesterday about like how I feel like I have developed like some form of like PTSD um, because when people like don't pick up the phone or you know I don't hear from somebody for a period of time I like I panic there's like panic in my chest I I feel like severe anxiety because of all of the loss that I've had in my family and I I don't know so all week I've just been trying to you know not push it out of my head feel it obviously feel everything I'm feeling but also you know try to keep things moving stay productive stay positive um but yeah today's Friday I took the day off um it's, I usually don't take the day off for services but I just wanted to make sure I gave myself time and space to feel and be and kind of do whatever it is that I um feel like I want to do instead of sitting in front of a computer screen and kind of busying myself with my nine to five. But um, I'm on my way home right now. Um, Noah was being watched by my stepdad, thank God. So I didn't have to like bring him to anything like that. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to check in right now because um, I, I'm not really sure at this moment like how much I vlogged this week or like I'm, I don't know what the vlog's gonna look like uh, going into this weekend you guys know I try to post on Sundays I'm not entirely sure what the vlog's gonna look like this week um, but yeah I wanted to just check in because it is a new day um, for the rest of the day I think rain wants to do pizzas outside um, I might get Noah outside um, it is a nice day it's it's pretty warm it doesn't look like it's gonna rain or anything so I am just hoping to have uh, you know a positive rest of the day um, I, I think I'm gonna try to set aside some time to do some journaling maybe some scrapbooking but like sit outside um, it's going on two o'clock so I'm gonna break my fast soon and yeah just wanted to check in as it's a new day and we are making our way into the weekend. I'll see y'all when I get home. I'll probably put my little baby on the camera. I miss him. I miss him and need him right now. But I'll be back. So when I tell y'all I came home and passed out, okay? I can't tell if you can tell that I have a nap face, but I do. The rest of today, I do, um, I have a couple things that I have to do. So I have to call Eva so that we can figure out. I'm, I'm pretty sure I said it, but I'm gonna say it one more time. I'm vending at Salvage Angel at Walpole Mall on June 22nd. And so I'm trying to curate like what it is that we're going to be selling. Um, this time around, I'm going to be selling with Eva. Um, it's my first like marketplace in a really long time, at least five years. Um, so I wanted someone to kind of go into it with me um, and vend with me. And I'm really excited. I'm really excited. <laughs> And actually just went to Home Depot. I told him that I needed like two clothing racks, a folding chair, um, a folding table rather, and like shoe display. So he's taking, you know, those things in his mind and he is gonna go create something for me from scratch, which is so sweet and so supportive. He's literally every single thing. I, I have no words. But he is at Home Depot right now trying to think through how he's gonna put that stuff together. Um, and then in the meantime, I have to order a tent. I have to, you know, put to the side the chairs that I'm going to be bringing. I also have a couple of branding things that I want to get before the 22nd. Um, that'll help me kind of wrap things up as they're purchased. Um, I bought like a ticket gun and like I'm trying to do it the right way. I feel like when I did it um, in the past, I just kind of willy nilly like brought stuff, priced things on the spot and like let people just randomly buy things. This time around, I want to like bring like a set of organization uh, to the whole process and see, you know, just how effective I can be when I implement some kind of organization. So I have my ticket gun. I have um, just so many things that I want to sell. Um, and I have a FaceTime with Eva, hopefully this afternoon so that we can kind of align on like what we're gonna bring and what we're going to be selling on the 22nd. 
and then I'm gonna do my best to also figure out pricing so I can start pricing things now and kind of steaming things and like getting them bagged up and ready to go. Um, I'm also gonna be keeping stuff um, because I my goal for 2024 was to do at least um, three different vens for my thrift brand village that um, I just opened an Instagram for her literally the other day. So like, if you want to support, go follow. But um, Village is my thrift brand that I'm trying to um, get off the ground. And I have a bunch of stuff that I am curating um, different capsules for to present to you guys to sell. And yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do some clothing organization. Um, I've been trying to vend for a little while now and I just, I'm really grateful for the support. He kind of was just like, I got you. He's literally the best. Hey guys, he just came in the house and got me. It looks like it's about to rain, so I'm gonna try to break this down um, in a little bit and just kind of have it sitting in the mudroom. But this is the final kind of bare bones of what it's gonna look like. Um, I sent him inspo from Pinterest of like kind of where we can do shoe storage or bag storage um, for display and he literally nailed it. We have two racks on either side of us. Um, we have these crates that are also going to be display. And y'all, I'm so excited. It looks so good. He did such a good job. Sunday y'all okay so I did just realize that I didn't vlog today but this month is gonna come and go and whip by and like we're already midway through the month and I just feel like not unprepared like not like I haven't been preparing because y'all know me but like I just feel like things are coming and going and whipping I don't have to go into the office because my office is moving. There's like a big office move happening. So they aren't requiring us to go into the office this week, which kind of opens up my week. Um, and I believe my mom and I are going to the vineyard. Clear! Um, I believe we're going to the vineyard um, on Thursday morning because um, one of my cousins is graduating from high school and she's having like a graduation like cookout, yeah. family cookout thing. And so yeah. we're gonna head out to go do that. Y'all, I've been like yelling at Cleo and she's Noah thinks she's doing she's something, she's coming behind me and yelling at Cleo, Cleo and I think it's so funny. <laughs> like, who are you talking to? Yeah, so we're going to the vineyard on Thursday of this week um, to go to the graduation party and then um, we're just going to stay, I think, through Sunday morning, um, just so we're not like in and out and doing all that traveling and so we can spend some time with family. And then we're coming home and then literally we have like one more week and then we're going to Orlando. And I told you guys, um, leading up to Orlando, I'm going to be trying to put together some like packing content. And you know me, before I travel, I like to make sure that my house is reset and kind of make sure that everything is reset so that when we leave and come back, we're coming back to kind of you know, not squalor. So I've just been super head down, just trying to continue to reset, but also before we leave, which is just chaotic, um, I am going to be vending at Salvage Angel, but that's also happening like when we get home from the vineyard. So it's gonna be like one week after the vineyard and then three days after we vend at Salvage Angel is when we go to Disney. So there's just a lot kind of happening and I want to make sure this is the first like Sunday that I've had that there's like nothing planned. I have nothing to do. And if there's something planned that I'm blanking on, <laughs> hey, there's just so much going on. Noodle. Happy Sunday. Thank you all for being here and thank you for supporting me all this time every week. Um, 
um, I'm free flowing at this point. I'm, I'm feeling really good about, you know, just posting my vlogs and being here and y'all being here and thank you. I'll be back tomorrow or I'll be back recording tomorrow for next week's vlog.